Hello friends, this is the escapement mechanism which is used in the clocks and it was invented by the great scientist Galileo and his son and later it was improvised by the scientist Robert Hooke and he presented to the world. So in this video I will be showing you how to make this uh, escapement mechanism and if you are new to my youtube channel subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get the latest videos. So let's get started. Friends, to make the escapement mechanism, very first we need to make a gear like this and it is having a stopper at this position and with the help of screwdriver you can fix the position of the gear on the shaft and also we need to make a pulleys like this this pulley is done on the lathe machine and it is having a stopper and also we need to make a couple of pulleys like this with the help of uh, CDs and the cardboard and these two pulleys are mounted on the single shaft and it is also having a stopper at this position and we are using a weights as a washers and also we will require a thread as a belt drive to drive these pulleys also friends we need to make a swinging pendulum you can see here and it is having a shaft which is ported in the in this position and use the motion like a clock and then it is having us two stoppers at this position and here which which are used to engage and disengage the gear also we need to make a box like this with the help of cardboard and we need weights in it friends finally we need a base and the pillars for mounting all these parts Now friends let's see the complete assembly of this escapement mechanism you can see all the parts are been assembled on the main frame and at the rear end we have a box which is filled with the weights you can see here and a thread is passed from the center and it is st sticked at the bottom so during its operating condition due to its self weight it passes from this cutout and it unwinds the thread from this pulley due to which it produces a torque and rotates the driving pulley and with the help of belt you can drive the smaller pulley and from the smaller pulley a drive is given to the gear and from the gear it is passed to the pendulum which is having two points engaging and disengaging points due to which we get the oscillating motion and the escapement mechanism is obtained so now let's see some more working of it 